It's the Big 12 Championship. We might need a bigger save. It's either I'm worn or pre on. Some lucky contestant's gonna kick this football. 38, let's go. I love when these deals happen. We are moving things around. You will be traveling and coming into a fortune. Watch was born green. No funny business. 2023, we're gonna use more of this space. I didn't expect to be giving you a call so soon. 100%, it's never been polished. I wanna enhance the, the experience when you do an unboxing. Well, I'm with Jai. Jai's gonna be working this weekend on a Saturday. Yeah, we get paid, right? No. Oh. It's the Big 12 Championship. Today is, what day is it, Thursday? Yeah, Thursday. I look at my watch as if there's a date. It's not a presidential, man. No. We are doing a walkthrough of the digital assets that Alex created for the Big 12 Championship. So it's gonna be an exciting day just because, I mean, this is the biggest event for the Big 12 with our marketing assets. So. Hopefully there's going to be two to three million impressions. I don't think the game is sold out yet, but hopefully we get a lot of traffic. So we did a walkthrough just to see how everything looks. And then we are also bringing a display with some watches. So we're going to unload that, get it in. So it's all ready to go on uh, Saturday. We just did a little tour of AT&T Stadium to see our digital assets. You're not seeing it now because it's uh, Sonic's opportunity to go, uh, but we had a grand caliber branded pretty much throughout the, uh, the stadium, which is awesome. We're going to be setting up a display case in the suite. Marco and Jai are going to be here, as well as Alex and Ty and myself. You know, I don't think we're going to get many sales at this point in time. But the goal is to network, get the brand out there, especially in the local Dallas market. So this is really exciting. So we are at the TCU game and we're just displaying watches in the VIP area. And it's pretty exciting, so we're just hopefully we get some exposure. That's kind of the name of the game, you know, just to get some people to come check us out, remember us, maybe buy a watch in the future, maybe not today, but maybe in the future they'll come back and get something. So here's my weekend schedule. One of my childhood friends from elementary school got engaged on Friday, yesterday, which was in Arizona. So I flew to Arizona, but I had to be here by 11 for the Big 12 Championship. So I took a 6 a.m. flight, landed at 9, got here by 10. And then I'm gonna fly at four o'clock to go to Houston for another partnership today. So from Arizona to Dallas to Houston, back to Dallas, all within 72 hours. Woo. All right, so we're getting ready to uh, start going on the field. Some lucky contestant's gonna kick this football. I don't know who that contestant is. They got selected by the Big 12 and partners that we work with. I'm hoping for someone that looks super athletic. Maybe someone that's played soccer, who knows, this random selection. The ball feels firm, you know? Trying to break it in a little bit for them. I'm hoping for the best. Not saying that some people don't look like they can kick, but I'm looking for an athletic type. wasn't what we hoped for. Uh, he looked really good on paper, he looked athletic. Unfortunately, the kick was not something to be desired. He did not get enough loft off that, uh, off that ball. So, no winner today, but still, great event. I want to thank the Big 12, I want to thank Learfield for making this happen. Well, we get to enjoy the rest of the game. Hopefully, Marco and Jai are selling some watches up in the, uh, in the suites. Holy crap. Okay. Jimmy, can you come here for a sec, please? I'm on a very important quest. I'm looking for a tape measure. Have you seen one? I have not seen a tape measure, but we might need a bigger safe. We have a lot of inventory to wrap and tag. We have to do all of this and all of these. So we might need a new display case. I don't know how we're going to fit them all. Alfred Green texted you, by the way. Oh, look, there he is. I did. <laughs> um, 
It's for this green tag to send to uh, my one of my clients. Okay, cool. We're buying two more safes. We're buying two more safes? Yeah, we're selling one to Marco because he wants one personally for just himself. And then we're going to get another one. So we're buying two TRTL 30 by 6 um, which will improve our insurance by another two million, I think. So, Great. the question is, where do we put these safes? Yeah, we we can get rid of the plant. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's thinking. Something's churning, huh? You should put a bigger safe in the office room. It moved the small one somewhere else. So I was thinking the back, but I think I'm gonna get the bigger one. Yeah, you should get the bigger one. Yeah, because you're gonna have to move that one. Yeah, so you're gonna have to move that one. Yeah, so you're gonna have to move that one. Yeah, so you're gonna have to move that one. Yeah, so you're gonna have to move that one. Yeah, so you're gonna have to move that one. Yeah, so you're gonna have to move that one. Yeah, so you're gonna have to move that going to be new office. Yeah, yeah we Unless, should have two more safes coming in soon. Unless we make one safe room. We could make one safe room. Yeah. That would be cool. Yeah, yeah. Everything's just there. Then we need a safe room attendant. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where these tape measures are. I'm bewildered. I'm rattled. I'm flustered. We had two of them. And I don't know where they are. I don't know what to tell you. I love when that works out. <laughs> Come here. I love when these deals happen. It, it never fails. You remember how the guy was hitting you up for the yellow gold 226658? Uh huh. I just got a call for one. Yeah. Can we put it together? Yeah, let's see. Let's see. Work. Yeah, see if you can get him on the phone, see if we can get a realistic number mm -hmm. and he's happy with. I'll get this guy to come in and we'll just close this deal. Yeah, that guy that called you this morning offering you the 226658, uh -huh. I have somebody interested in buying one. So if we can put two together today, then we can just close that out. Thank you. I'll get him on the phone. Can I didn't expect to be giving you a call so soon, but I got some good news. I actually have an offer on your watch. I have Marco right here. He has a client, so it's funny how you send me that picture wanting to sell yours and then he gets a phone call of a guy wanting to buy. You know that particular piece oh okay yes sir so if you don't mind uh i'm just gonna pass you along to marco he's right here and we can see if we can put this together for you okay okay absolutely hey what's up man how are you hey marco how's it going how are you good good i just got a client who just called me looking for this watch and i was trying to see if maybe we can put two and two together and make this deal work okay okay i'm not sure if you guys discuss price or anything like that but yours is obviously true new correct I think what we could make work, if uh, this is all contingent to my client taking it and you obviously having the watch available, let me see what the date on the card is. It looks like it's, it's uh, June 25th. Okay, 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 okay. You know, I think we could make it work if, like, for example, I, I might be able to get you a buy number closer to 29 if that makes you more comfortable. So, so. 29, I send you the watch and then I guess you wire the money or how? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We would just buy the watch from you at 29 and sell to our client. Let me just, if you're okay with that, let me call my client and then I can close the deal. But if you're okay with those numbers, then I can get go to work on those prices. Yeah, uh, yeah I was like, 29, 30 was what I was expecting. Yeah. And what, 25? I was like, oh, that's a little... Well, that's, okay. So, there's two types of buys. Obviously, you know, we love it if we can buy a watch and sell it immediately. Obviously, that's always going to put us in a position to be strong. But for stock okay. and, you know, just because of market conditions, liquidity on the watch yes, yes, yes. would need yes, to be appropriately yes. assessed. I understand, yeah. It has to work for you. It has to work for me. And at the end of the day, if you can make something go, you know, like around 29, uh, I'm pretty sure 29 would be a, would, would work for me. Okay, perfect. Let me get to work on it and I'll call you back if we have a deal. Give me about a few minutes. Sounds good. Yeah, give me a call and then, uh, like I said, we'll, we'll go from there. Appreciate and, it, Marco. Yeah, just to reiterate, it is true new, correct? It is brand new? Yeah, uh, we bought, uh, he bought, I bought it. It was like, I probably wore it a handful of times. Uh, it's been taken care of. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't damage my stuff, so you'll, you'll see it once it comes up. I probably wore it about five to six times, that's it. Okay, so I can, unfortunately cannot sell the watch as new, but let me see what I can do. I'll work on, I'll work on it with my client. If he's okay with like, you know, like new, you know, at, a, at that price point, I'll let you know. Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, what, yeah, whatever you come back and then we'll go from there. Perfect. All right, yeah. thank you. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you right now, it's pretty much like... Uh, mint condition. No, I agree, and I, and I don't mind telling my client it's mint. I just can't tell them it's brand new if you've already no, disclosing that you've worn it four or five times. Um, yeah. But no problem. Let me see. Let me see what I can do, and then I'll let you know. I'll call you right back. Okay, sounds good. We gotta fix your phone, bro. There's like a matrix green line going through this. <laughs> Man, tell me about it. I dropped it. Look, this is the line that he's talking about. 
I know the guys are going to get on me, but if you want to buy me a phone, I'm all about getting I mean, a new phone. phone looks like the Matrix. Bro. I do want to say something, though, because that happens quite often. So when I ask people, hey, uh, is your watch brand new? A lot of people think if it's dated recently, then it's brand new. Certain dealers, when we ask, is it brand new? We are thinking of unworn. So maybe we can start clarifying that. It's either unworn or pre-owned. Just because, like I said, a lot of people think a brand new watch, if it's dated this year, it's considered brand new. No. But if you worn it, then, you know, it's not brand new. Look, in, in our industry, there's so many terms. It's just slider, like new, mint, pre-owned, perfect. I mean, we throw around all these terms, you know, like, look what happened to, on that uh, meteorite Pepsi deal, yeah. right? Like the guy said, uh, like new, and that's all he said. And we buy the watch, and when, when I examined it, it was refinished. I'm like, I, you can't call a refinished watch like new. It might appear like new, right, right. but like new to us when we're buying a watch means it's literally like new. It's just been worn a few t handful of times, and it's not, you know, you, because in the industry, we have to disclose a polished watch. Exactly. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, we tell everybody, on whatever side of the fence it is, wholesale, retail, whoever, it's, hey, this watch has been refinished, et cetera, et cetera. I don't tell people it's like new without disclosing the fact that it's been polished. Mm -hmm. I agree. You know, because of course, polishing a watch is going to make it like new. Right. But it's not like new anymore, it's polished. Mm -hmm. Let me call this guy and see if I can't sell you that uh, Yacht Master for you. Hey, it's Marco, how are you? Yeah, man. Hey, so I just wanted to talk to you. So I talked to the guy, he's got the watch. It's, it's, like new, like super, super mint condition. He says he's worn it a handful of times, but as he said, he has, there's no wear and tear on the watch. Uh, if you're interested, I could do it for 31. 31? Yeah. It's a 22 uh, June card, complete. Okay, complete. Yeah. All right, let me, uh, let me get back to you. Okay, let me know. All right. Thank you. Uh, we'll see. We are moving things around, getting ready for the new year. We are gonna, emphasize a lot more YouTube content in 2023, try to make things better for you guys. So what we're doing here is this used to be my desk here. Tommy, our IT sat over here. We're going to redo everything to try to make this into really a, a YouTube studio. You guys really love Marco's authentication segment. And so we're going to try to do what we can to build out this YouTube studio. So you'll see what do you call these, man? These sound panels. Sound panels. Yeah. We'll put these up today. You know, there's a teleprompter screen for uh, for Marco <laughs> when he doesn't know what to say. This doesn't really happen when it comes to watches, but you know, if he has to do like an official statement, like a giveaway statement or addressing something that's business related, sometimes he, it helps to give him a little a little guidance. But yeah, this is gonna be the desk. We're gonna find some really cool knickknacks um, to put in the back here. Come on this way. Disregard all this mess here, guys. It's it's. It's a busy time. We're gonna, 2023, we're gonna use more of this space because we've really outgrown the space next door. I gotta show you guys something fun here. I gotta walk all the way here for the light. We have a painting crew coming in this Saturday. They're gonna paint this blue here. All of this is gonna go into that grayish color that we have next door. And then look what I have for you guys. Check this out. People that follow me on Instagram where I, I do a lot more business updates now have seen this. But look what we got in, Matt. What you got? Grand caliber shopping bags, right? Branded, more boxes depending on the size. So now these are the, what we have inner boxes and outer boxes. So what we typically do is if you buy a Rolex watch, it comes in a Rolex box, that box would go inside this box. Now I don't wanna ship this box as the outer box because if you read the luxury watch destination and this goes into the mail, there's a good chance you'll never see this package ever again. For extra protection on the watches, the Rolex box goes into this box. This box then gets put into a brown box, an outer box with bubble wrap and everything and gets shipped out. So I wanna enhance the, the experience when you do an unboxing. You know, a lot of times clients could be buying watches for the first time, right? So I want that, that feeling when you really just get an awesome package, you unwrap it and it just you know, makes you feel all warm and fuzzy inside. So. This is one size, um, this is another size. So we have it broken down depending on whether it's a Rolex, AP, Omega, Tudor, Panerai, IWC, really all the brands. So that's what all of this is here. You gotta unpack that, you gotta paint the walls. We're moving stuff around. It's gonna be a busy day today. Don't forget the Rolex giveaway is still live. You have until the end of the month here, December 31st. If you buy anything on our website, whether it's our apparel, you know, our watches or whatever the case may be, services aren't included, but if you buy it on our our website 
you'll be entered for the uh, Rolex giveaway. So come on guys, buy some apparel. This is a very tricky watch because they do make a lot of these with aftermarket bezels, but you can tell right away if you see the aftermarket bezel, because they're actually stones. They're not even, uh, I'm sorry, they're at glass stones. They're not actual like precious stones uh, on the on the uh, aftermarket bezels because uh, that's just way too expensive to set up like that. I mean, you can just see the lust that these factory stones have. Okay, thank you, sir. Our boy, our boy is getting his wallet back from his parents. His what? He's getting his crypto wallet back from his parents. Oh, this is Sean. So he's hitting me up. He's like, yo. He just called he's me. He's like, too. yo, I want the Louis shirts back. I want the corn <laughs> back. I want. <laughs> but I told him the corn's gone. But... Corn's gone. His uh... sub is gone. <laughs> Man, I love crypto guys. They're, they're, they crack me up. Damn, bro, I feel so bad. His wallet's been locked up and it, that freaking crypto has just been taking a nosedive. As you guys can notice, we're just really focusing on the lifestyle video right now. The authentication videos are coming back. We're just simply improving the set um, of where I do the authentication video. So what we're really gonna do is actually improve the quality of the video. We're gonna do the 4K, we have audio set up. We have our own designated authentication video studio so that's gonna be really, really really cool obviously i'm gonna kind of outfit it I'll kind of personalize it a little bit so when we do it what's gonna be really really exciting about the authentication videos are the, that they're going to have their own segment so we're not going to put them in the day in the life videos we're actually going to have them on a designated day which will be thursdays so i can be more and more involved on just making sure those authentication videos are a little bit more intimate. In the meantime, while I'm authenticating watches today, we were not gonna have the in-depth review today of everything, but I actually have something special for you guys to make up for it. I'm going to teach you guys how to actually break down a modern box set and why that white hang tag is so important to the watch, at least to certain watches. Uh, and you'll see why here in a few minutes. What do you want? guys? so ugly, bro. Look at, don't break your camera, but look carefully. Don't break the, oh, hey, hey, baby. What's going on? <laughs> Bro, like, uh, what's up, man? What do you need? Oh, no. I just came in to say hi. He just came to bother us? Yeah, what's he looked like on? so tall. Bro, Bro! This is a massive box. Ugh, I hate when they do this. I hate to immediately throw it away. Oh, gosh. They really wrapped this thing up. So this is a 116695 SATS. Uh, I can't show you the card because it has a serial number, but um, I do have a watch that I will not reveal the serial number on, but I'll show you guys how to break it down so you know exactly the science behind your watch and what is a true full set. Obviously, you guys are you know out there buying watches. You know what a full set looks like, but I'm going to show you how to actually evaluate the entire set in, in its entirety. But anyways, moving on, we have the 116695 SATS, which is this bad boy right here. This is a factory set gem bezel. As you see, it's got rubies, sapphires, um, you know, orange sapphires, blue sapphires, green emeralds, red rubies. Sorry, I, I'm not a gemologist. Uh, I don't know my gems. It's actually something I really want to learn. That would be really next level. I think the next level for our business one day would be getting into jewelry and diamonds. It's a deep rabbit hole, but I love rabbit holes, so that could be exciting for me one day. But in the meantime, we have this and it is factory set, beautiful watch. It's kind of like a four man's rainbow Daytona. I hate to say, but I guess it is. It's not really a rainbow configure watch, but it's very colorful. The only thing that's missing is the pave dial, but we would know if the pave dial was swapped for a normal dial or vice versa, because I'll show you guys how. But I'm not gonna break this watch down. I'm gonna break another watch down because the only reason I don't wanna use this watch is simply for the fact that it has a black dial so they're all gonna say what dial. I'm gonna show you a watch that you that would be commonly swapped, okay? Because there's a lot of loose dials out there. And I know dealers out there are gonna really hate me for this and that's fine, I understand. They're probably not gonna be too happy that I'm giving up their sauce, but whatever, because a lot of, here's the thing, when these watches first came out, a lot of dealers were like, ah, oh, there's no more dial on the on the, uh, on the the papers anymore, so now I can get sneaky and start swapping dials and then nobody will know. Eh, wrong. I'll show you how to know. First thing that makes a watch a complete set, I know it sounds crazy, this is for my picky, picky clients out there. They want a true full set. And the very first thing you're looking for is this outer sleeve. Okay, that's the very first thing. So once we take out that outer sleeve, we are now down to the box. So now there's three parts to it, right? The very outer sleeve, the outer box, and the inner box. So... First thing, and <laughs> this is a super full set, right? So even this piece of foam matters to some people. I actually throw them away. I hate them. They just kind of get in the way. The old ones were really, really horrible. I'm sure some of you guys out there remember, but it was like a Patek style foam where it wrapped around all 
uh, you know, all corners of the box and it was super frustrating because nine nine times out of ten people would shove them in there and they would just get messed up anyways so this to me is a lot better it's just a piece of foam not a big deal again this is a true full set uh matt if you see any serial numbers please blur, blur them out getting into it what i have to show you guys and we're going to break this down is a 116509 blue dial daytona now before we dive into this watch ask yourself this would you know if this dial was swapped into this watch or not half of you guys might say maybe half you might say i have no idea if it's been swapped and this is a huge concern because how do you know your watch was born the way it was and this is what we're going to dive into so this is part of understanding your full set so we're not really going to talk so much about the watch more about the set but this is a 116509 like i said blue pre-owned watch it's about a month old or so here's what makes things interesting First thing you're going to grab is the Rolex card. For obvious reasons, we're covering up the serial number. Wait, actually, <laughs> the serial number is right here. How funny, I don't, mm -hmm. yeah. This is the card. Now, the first thing you want to check is if you want to make sure the card is authentic. It's very, very simple and very easy to do. You actually want to take your card out and put it up against the back of your cell phone and what you'll see. So you see that just popped up on my cell phone. You can click on it. It's an RFID chip. It'll take you directly to Rolex's website. I wish it was cool enough to bring you directly to the watch you bought. That would weed out a lot of effort to break this watch down, but it just takes you directly to the website. And that's one way to know it's not just plain and Jane a fake card because it does have what is, uh, it has an RFID chip in there that allows you to pick up on cell phones. So that's really cool. So that's kind of one thing, but I actually want to say this, this is kind of crazy, but I think more important than the card is the white hang tag. And that's, that white hang tag is going to tell you more about your watch than the card itself. The, what the card's going to do is obviously validate the warranty and validate the watch itself, but it's not going to break down the science of your watch so much as the white hang tag does. So this is why the white hang tag is so very, very important. Yes. So this little guy right here is going to tell you a lot about the watch and the box set all together. So the first thing that I like to point out is this Oyster L, Oyster M, or Oyster S. That will actually designate what the watch came with. Did it come with a small box, a medium box, or a large box? Well, in this watch's case, it came with a large box. So as you can see here, we do have the Rolex large box. The biggest piece of ammunition I can give you guys is understanding this white hang tag because what this white hang tag is going to do is actually going to tell you what dial was born on the watch. This is extremely important for OP owners because there is a lot of dial swapped OPs out there that used to be silver, black, white, etc. that got changed into the tropical looking teal colored blue or maybe the exotic green or the LeBron James red dial, whatever you want to call it. How do we know? Well, this hang tag is actually going to solve all of that for you and I'll show you how. First thing you want to do is notice that you have a model number, which is 116509-0071. So that right there is the magic number. That is your dial color. So in the way you can simply do it is grab your cell phone with your white hang tag Go to, roll, go to Google. There's several ways to do this. I like using Google. You type in the exa exactly what you see on the hang tag. So you go M116509-0071. And when you hit enter, you should get a link to exactly what your watch is from Rolex. So I just click the link and that is what's coming up. Pretty cool. So that tells you exactly what dial is born on the watch because if you check the code here, so the very end of the, uh, of the HTML, you can see that it, is right there hidden in the detail. It is 116509-0071.html. So there you have it. That is the key role that the white hang tag plays. It'll designate your box, it'll designate your dial options, and it also tells you the serial number, which is what's, what the card does. The card no longer tells you what the dial has, unfortunately, like they used to, so that white hang tag plays a very, very key role. Last but not least about this is obviously you got your booklets, Understand that the new style booklets look exactly like this. They're very small. They slide right into this leather holder and you have the Cosmograph Daytona. Here's another cool thing about understanding the booklets. If you have a box set that was hobbled together, you, there's a good chance you can catch it simply by opening the very back of the book and looking back here. And if you can see that you actually have 
the month and the year that this booklet came with the watch. So as you can see, it says 6 2021. That's the year the booklet was printed and issued. Now, obviously booklets aren't serialized to the watch, so they can be thrown together for the satisfaction of a retail buyer. Because a lot of times watch dealers and you know collectors so forth, sometimes don't have access to box sets, so they'll just throw them together. But you don't want to at least be very, very sure that this booklet is within at least a year of your card, just so you have you know credibility to the set being that this is the right booklet for the card, for the year, for the era. You don't want to have the old school 2006 style Cosmograph Daytona booklet with a 2021 or 2022 watch. To break this further down, this is what you should see with a full set. You should have this, this hang tag. This even has the original bezel protector. You've got the green hang tag. You know, sometimes if, if need be, you've got a baggie with the extra link. So that is a true full set. And I hope that helps you kind of understand the science behind this watch and the boxes and why this all this stuff matters because sometimes there's guys out there that are very particular about having the white hang tag but they don't really understand why they want the hang tag but now you can understand why the white hang tag plays the biggest role in all of this because this again prevents the idea that your watch was dial swapped there you go hope you guys learned something so what are the time zones we're representing here that is a great question my friend what are the time zones? Dallas has got to be one of them. Geneva has been discussed quite a bit. Most yeah. people are saying we should do Dallas, either London or Geneva, Japan. All right, guys, we need four time zones. What are you thinking, Shivy? I'm saying LA. No, because I deal with LA and New York the most, so it makes more sense. But the sense. thing is, LA and New York are only one hour behind or forward. So you want it to be a global? Then just divide the world up in the quarters and then just go by, the, by that. Because, you know, it's really hard to figure out what time it is in New York. It's only an hour difference. California, Phoenix. No, hours. California, Phoenix at the same time. No, nah, not necessarily. One's Mountain Standard Time sometimes and one is <laughs> Pacific Time. So are we just doing all the time York. zones of the country? Or do we go global? Do we go global? Switzerland, Geneva. Switzerland. Switzerland. Yeah. Geneva. Then you can do China, Hong Kong around there. Someone said Hong Kong, Tokyo. Geneva and Dallas. There we go. Yeah. I wouldn't do two Asian countries. I would do Hong Kong, Australia, and then. How far off? We might sound stupid, but how far off is Australia time from Japan time? Oh, from Japan to Australia? It's not that bad. Maybe six hours. But Tokyo, I feel like, is a bigger watch destination than Australia. Yeah, you just gotta give Australia some love, man. If it's up to me, I would do Dallas. Okay. I would do London because we have a big presence in the UK. Okay. Then I would do probably Hong Kong and then whatever one else we got. Yeah, we'll start with four now. I pick two, you pick two. Okay, let's do the South Pole. If you understand the South Pole, it is the whole circular half of a, of a so globe. Really so okay. there could be multiple time zones. I know, I'm just Unless you're a flat earther and then we could respect that, but. Bro, Earth is flat as hell. <laughs> and Texas at least. So what do you think? Uh, let's just do, I like Hong Kong and Hawaii. We can always redo this with the, with okay, the comments. Hong Kong. I'm going to pick Hong Kong and Geneva. I think Hong Kong, Geneva. And I'll do Dallas, okay. obviously. And I want to do London. All right, so Dallas, London, yeah. Hong Kong. Geneva, and Hong Kong. Yes. We're going to do a reef tank update for you guys. So this is kind of the fun part of the reef tanks. This is where you start getting hair algae on the uh, rocks. It is live rock, so it's going to take on all kinds of life. And right now it's the pesky hair algae that we're dealing with. We just need a couple of lawnmower blennies in there doing their job, maybe some cleanup crew. That's the next thing to add. And you know, just on the corals, everything on the coral side seems to be doing really well. There are a couple of pieces we lost, but that is very typical when you go buy corals at a coral fest, you know, Aquapalooza, and then there's uh, Aquashella, and there's all these different types of, uh, you know, coral fests out there that get together and sell corals, almost like IWJG, except for corals. It's kind of like expected. You'll buy about 10, 15 pieces. It's expected you'll lose maybe 20, 30, percent you know because they're getting transported they're very stressed out for the most part everything's holding up great so we're just waiting for the tank to kind of go through its cycle and then you know i think the next phase is adding in fish adding in a cleanup crew start adding in more coral and start placing the corals where we permanently want them to grow so eventually we want colonies that's the goal and we have some hardware issues we lost the light that's not working properly and our auto top off kind of quit working on us too so we get some gurgles from here <laughs> from time to time so i'll come in in the morning and it's just spitting out a bunch of bubbles and I gotta manually add water, it's fun, but it is what it is. It's a lot of fun. We'll keep you updated next time. Oh yeah, there's one fortune here. Oh, let's just see. <laughs> a new pair of shoes will do you a world of good. Hmm. Talk shit on my Yeezys.
What a crappy fortune. Yeah, dude, what the f All right, Vic, what do you got? Let's see what I got. I'm not gonna make a mess like Ja. <laughs> you will be traveling and coming into a fortune. Ooh. That speaks to me too, cause uh, this Sunday, I'm actually going to Belize, Cosmel, and Costa Maya for my honeymoon. Pretty dope. Funny how stuff relates to you, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's kinda wild. Every time I open something, it's like, yeah, I guess I gotta get new shoes. I will not be here next week, so I apologize in advance, but any texts, calls, I mean anything work-related, uh, is put on pause for an entire seven days. So I will be back on the 19th, a week before Christmas, and I will be running and gunning to get you guys the deals that you want. Crocodile, Rose Gold, or Oyster Flex Daytona. Brand new data today. What, what, what would stock it for? Yeah. Ooh, probably like 30. Eat. Dude, I got it. And then I said 38, let's go. Did you really? Yeah. Oh, nice. My gut. You know what I mean? My gut says 38.5. Can we bump it? I mean, 500 bucks. Let me, yeah, let me make a quick call. Brand new fresh data today. Yeah, he's, he just got the call from the AD. Okay. All right, all right. Let me verify. Don't commit to anything without finalizing with me, but I mean, that can retail for like 42.5. Chocolate, rose gold. Yeah, retail. Do you, I mean, because he needs an answer pretty quick. I'm sure he's calling other people. Well, just tell him to hold tight and I'll give him a clear answer here for shortly. Just tell him to hang tight. Uh, you know, I feel like I can sell it real quick though. Or flip it really fast. I don't care what you do with it. Okay, I mean, if you can buy and sell it, make yourself some money, go for it. But I'm talking about stocking it for the store. Then anybody can sell it for like a premium for like 42. Sure, we can wholesale it, but what are they going to do with it, right? Those guys are just going to turn around and sell it themselves. Why can't we do that? This just came in. It's a one, two, six, two, three, four mint. So, like I showed you guys before, it ends in 0051. Not that I would assume they would just swap dials in on a 36 millimeter date just, but you never know. I swear, computers suck. Can you close that door, please? On Jimmy's face, preferably. What's up? I'm filming you, filming me, filming you. So we're gonna configure this date just. So the last four digits of the hang tag are 0051. So here's the watch. So that is a green dial date just 36. And the last four digits before the HTML is watches slash date just slash M126234 dash 0051, which is the number on the hang tag. So watch was born green. No funny business. <laughs> My thought is right now it's an inch in between the two center ones. Okay. Okay. So right now I think it's too tight. You have an inch right here. I think you need to move this one half an inch move this one half an inch, so there's a two inch gap in the middle, okay? And then you're gonna move this one two inches over and that one two inches over, so there's a two inch gap. Okay, so there's one inch right now? Yes. But two, then will they look too small? I think they'll be more spread out. It might allow this one to get a little further, almost yeah. to the edge, yeah, but okay. I think this looks too compact. And I, don't think, <laughs> I don't think adding more watches will do anything because it's too compact to begin with. I think they should be two inch gaps in between. What if we just add one more? Well, now it's not proportional. So now you're gonna go one more on this side, and then it's gonna. It's gonna Maybe we should do five. Because then it'll be like one in the center, and then two on each side, and then. Correct, just but that be... means that we still have to move them because your center one is gonna be. Right, but we don't have to move them right now. Either way, you still have to move them. <laughs> Someone has to move them. Right. Who does not want to move them? So I'm saying we should go, we should just space them out two inches of. Apart. What do you guys think? Should we do four clocks, five clocks, or maybe just no clocks at all? Maybe the clocks are ruining the office. I don't know. Chocolate Daytona on the radar. Clients looking for an offer. On a rubber or on a bracelet? Rubber, rubber, rubber. How much you want for it? I don't know. The client just wants a big. True new, true new. Date it today. I'm a buyer for 35.5. Uh, I think he's losing money. I don't think he'll go for it. But I, I bought one on a for 38 last week. You bought so, one for 38? I was thinking, yeah. I would, I would go to 36. I would go to 36 for stock. Let me try. Let me know. Okay, Get bye. back and give out of you the winters. Bye. Okay, thanks. <sighs> Let's see. Or it's been worn. I don't know. No, it's probably just from the box, well, you bro. You can't go back on your statement. No, where's my... Sh no, I, I mean, 100% it's never been polished. You guys are, um, we're on the side of the class then. Uh, you know where they wrap the hang tags around? And it just starts getting in there. I think that could happen, because it's not on the other side. It's just there. I mean... Doesn't look polished though? No, it's definitely not polished. I don't know, from what I saw, that when I was eating, the, um, the brush side near the center, the high polish in the center, it yeah. looks like the high polish kind of goes off into the brush part. No. Uh-uh. Not at all. That's lighting. Because that thing is like perfectly flat. Like that polish part's like dead even. Usually you lose that like mirror 
effect. Like where it's like, it reflects perfectly. You scratched it all up at Crushcraft and come here trying to get a discount. I see the game y'all dealers play. This is the game they play. They scratch it up outside, they come back in and they're like, oh, you know what? It's not the same, it wasn't sold to me. I just inspected the watch, it was perfect. And there was absolutely no scratches. There he goes again, you just do it. I wish, go what ahead. If, what if the AD recognized my voice? They do, they know who you are. I already, I let, I let them know. No, basically, um, it's very unfortunate, but yes, there's some hairlines on the watch. I don't believe it's from wear, because it would be a little bit more deeper than that. It's just superficial, fine line hairs from being in a box. If you want, we can polish it for you, sir. What? Would you like us to refinish the whole watch? Let me know. No, I'm gonna take it, I have to, I have to go ship it out there anyways. Okay, so you don't want the polish. We want to put Meguiar's turtle wax. Anyways, so just some hairline scratches from being in the box, it happens. And sometimes those tags get wrapped around certain spots and they rub in there and shipping and they just, they can scratch. I mean, I mean, these watches are so finely polished. They have such a high mirror finish. If you breathe on them wrong, they're going to scratch, let alone wrap it up with two different types of fabrics. You know, it's just impossible to keep these things scratch free, even if it's true new. Like, sometimes it happens. It's going to be pretty costly to get that AP bezel polished. What's the reasoning? So, just the finish that AP has. Obviously, yeah. here's the thing, right? Some people will say, oh, no, it shouldn't be that way. But I promise you, they're not going to do the correct finish that AP has. This guy, like I told you before, man, it's even been said that his finishing is better than what AP has. I mean, he's that good. But man, even the bezel by itself is 500 bucks. 500. Yeah, sir. So we haven't sent it off. We just called and uh, we're just waiting on a quote back. Got that earlier and I wanted to let you decide. Yeah, yeah, let's, uh, let's get it done. Okay, so I will have that sent off. I'll call Marco and uh, see if he possibly knows the ETA. I won't be here next week. I won't even be able to answer my phone, but I'm gonna make sure okay. Deja is uh, one of the ladies in operations. I'm gonna make sure that she communicates with you, you know, let you know when it's on its way back. Perfect, I would, okay, okay, you'll let me know the turnaround before you go then? Uh -huh. See how long it'll take. Yeah, okay. I'm going to call Marco as soon as we hang up and let him know that we do want to get it polished and get an ETA, and I'll text you right back. Okay, sounds great. Thank you. I mean, realistically, I'm thinking a couple weeks, you know. Oh, damn, it takes that long? Yeah, to do it correct, man. It, it does. Okay. Because we're going to, I mean, we're going to ship it to him. I mean, when you're that good and people respect your work, you have a lot of people that come to you, you know. So it's the holiday time. Yeah, he's a, okay. Yeah, but you tell me. Okay, yeah. No, 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 let's do it. Yeah, as long as it comes back perfect, we're, we're good to go. Man, you'll be impressed. You really will. Okay, sounds great. All I'll right. probably get that Daytona then uh, tomorrow then at best school. Yeah, you can come up here. I'll be up here tomorrow, and it, it's already here. Okay, perfect. All right. Appreciate it. All right, thanks. All right, talk soon. No right, problem. Bye -bye. I want to show you guys something. So I had a gentleman who could sign a piece, you know, with another dealer. Not going to mention any names. It came back a little scratched up. So he wasn't happy with that, and we're going to send that watch off to get corrected and I uh, want to show you guys what it looks like. Marco! What up, what up? What up, man? We missing you around here. The vibe is dead without you, brother. No, it's not. <laughs> nah, man. Hey, so I talked to our AP guy who wants to get that uh, bezel done. He does. I, I quoted him 500. He wants to go ahead and uh, go through with that. So... Man, we just need to do this guy a favor. I mean, he consigned a brand new watch and got it back in the condition it's in. So I know our cost is 500, but man, uh, building a relationship here. So I want to take care of him on this one here. I'm going to put it in the safe, uh, talk with you tomorrow about it so we can get it shipped out. And then I won't be here if it does get done next week. I told him two weeks because it's, you know, holiday season. But I uh, just want to give you an update on that and we'll get it sent out tomorrow. Sounds good. All right, man. I'll let you know if I need anything. You have a good evening. Sounds good. Thank you, man. All right, we got that button up. Next time I see you guys, I'll be a married man.